In this story, I'm going to show you how to perform in-text citation using uh, Zotero for Windows and Microsoft Word 2010. Assuming that you have installed the Microsoft Word plugin for Zotero, you should see um, under the tab called Add-ins a list of icons that per uh, belong to uh, Zotero. Um, and for this particular example, I have four cases, uh, two of which are short quotations and two paraphrases. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get started by uh, selecting the style that I want to use for this particular example. I can do that by uh, clicking the icon, the gear icon um, that allows me to set the preferences for uh, my style or for my in-text citation. In this case I'm going to use the uh, American Psycholog Psychological Association or sometimes use uh, known as um, APA, 6th uh, edition in this case, uh, and everything else will be unchanged. Um, hit OK and I have it selected. Let's uh, go ahead and get started here by uh, adding a in-text citation for my first example. In this case uh, the authors or author uh, are is not part of the narrative. So in this case I'm going to add it at the very end of my sentence here. So I'm going to place my cursor right there just before the period and then go to add-ins. First icon will allow me to insert citation. So click there. Um, the dialog box uh, that allows me to select the citation comes up. Notice here that I have access to my entire library, my Zotero library, and I have a particular a folder a collection uh, that I will use for this example. So I have that selected and all the sources under that uh, particular uh, particular folder um, uh, comes up here. Um, let's see here. I will choose for this particular example the second uh, source which is the Jackson and Morgan. Um, I always like to uh, click on show editor so that uh, I can see how it actually looks like and um, it seems that it's okay right now except one particular um, problem. Since this is a short quotation I'm gonna need a page number. So let's say I consulted uh, the source and that is found under page in page 185. Um, and I think that is now okay because that is that particular uh, the page is been has been added to my in-text citation. Um, I'm going to be I'm going to click on OK and then check it. It seems that it is uh, OK and according to APA this is exactly how it should look like for two authors and when they're not part of the narrative. Uh, notice that uh, Zotero places a placeholder uh, on your in uh, on your text and that should be differentiated from normal text that you have on your uh, paper if that's a paper that you're writing. Um, second example uh, the authors are part of the narrative so I'm gonna have to change it a little bit for example I'm gonna have to say Jackson and Morgan believe that meditation is a way of consciousness and then add the page number at the end here in this case uh, and then the page number has to be in this case I'm gonna type the page number it's not gonna uh, I'm not gonna be added I'm not gonna add it through Zotero uh, let's uh, see how it looks like or how it's done uh, my course is uh, at the end uh, or at the beginning of that sentence uh, I'm gonna go back to the same place add-ins insert citation uh, choose the, the source uh, which is right there now again I'm gonna choose show editor so that I can see how it looks like it doesn't seem that it is correct at this point. Every uh, notice that the authors are inside of the uh, the parenthesis. According to APA, if uh, if the authors are part of the narrative, uh, they have to be outside of the parenthesis. Only the year um, should be uh, w uh, in between parentheses. So in this case, I have to click uh, here and check this particular option, which is which will suppress the author. Now I only have the year. Now usually what I do here, because I don't want to type uh, the authors, sometimes I have uh, too many authors on a particular source, what I like to do 
uh, is to select the authors that are part of the, that uh, source and um, use a shortcut on my keyboard and in my case I'm using a Mac so it's control C will copy uh, the authors before I suppress them and once I have copied I just did I uh, check that and now they're gone now I did that because it has to, they have to be uh, outside of the parentheses so, so now I use another shortcut control V as in Victor and that would do the trick so I now have the authors outside of the parentheses this is exactly how I want and this is uh, exactly how APA um, requires uh, me to do um, Another thing, I have to change. Uh, have to change this. Uh, the ampersand that has to be substituted by the word "and." Okay, so Jackson and Morgan, 2007. Um, page number again. I'm gonna add the page number at the end of the sentence, and I do that by typing after the fact. So it seems that now I have done uh, okay here, and I'm gonna click OK. Now I have um, Jackson Morgan, 2007, believe and that meditation is a way up to consciousness, and then I will type page number at the end. In this case, to be consistent, uh, it's 185, as I have done in the past, uh, in the previous example. Um, now I have two examples for paraphrase. Again, paraphrases uh, are, are situations in which uh, I use my own words. I basically read what uh, the sources uh, tell me and uh, I come up with my own uh, interpretation of uh, what it is or I use my own words to describe what it is the idea um, there's evidence that uh, one can reach consciousness through meditation same example but again there's no page number here so let's go ahead and um, pretty much do the same thing we did before uh, except no page number will be added so Eddings go to the first uh, icon select uh, Jackson Morgan which is uh, uh, my source that I've been using uh, show show editor and then it um, seems that uh, is okay right there no page number I'm gonna click OK and that will do it so I have a placeholder from Zotero that um, is associated with that particular um, idea here or a paraphrase um, with regards to the second example for paraphrases um, I need to add the, the in-text citation uh, right before for, for this particular example. So I'm going to do that, add ins, insert citation, select the same one, and show editor. Just uh, I don't have to show editor, I just want to uh, see how it looks like. Um, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to copy uh, the authors in this case, control C here, and then suppress them. Uh, click in front of it, control V, uh, a little space there, and I need to change that as well, the ampersand sign to with and. Um, no page number because this is not a, a short quotation. This is a case of a paraphrase. Uh, and hit OK. Notice that uh, I need a, a space there in between, uh, placeholder and the beginning of the sentence. Now I have um, I have it there. Now sometimes um, you use more than one source to um, to do in-text citation on your uh, to do in-text citation. Let's say, for example, uh, let's say more than one source uh, describe the same idea, the idea that the, um, consciousness can be uh, reached uh, through meditation. Uh, not simply the Jackson Morgan. So I'm going to have to add, edit this particular citation. So I, in order to edit a citation, any citation, you have to click on the top of it and then go to Add-ins. And the second icon will allow you to edit a citation. So I'm going to click there. And here, because I need more than one source, I need multiple sources selected. So I'm going to click there. And the first one is there already and uh, I'm gonna just choose one here, it doesn't really matter which one and let's say Clark and I'm gonna uh, click the little uh, arrow there in the middle and that would move that particular citation from here source from here to my uh, uh, 
my current citation list. Um, again, I'm going to sh show editor and see how it looks like. And because this is a paraphrase, there's no need for page number. I'm going to click OK. And now I have it a little slightly different, but now uh, uh, slightly different with two sources. To complete this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add, insert a bibliography at the end of your work. So, for example, uh, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to call that works cited. Some, some people like to call it a reference list. Uh, list of references. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, and here I have a uh, the cursor is where uh, the reference list will be. Um, I'm gonna go to the same place, add-ins, and choose um, one, two, three, the third um, icon, which allow which allows you to insert the bibliography. Uh, Zotero calls that, calls that bibliography. So let's go ahead and do that. Click here and wait a little bit. You should add then uh, all the sources that you have cited previously. Again, this uh, was a short tutorial that shows you how to uh, in insert, uh, perform in-text in citation using Zotero Microsoft Word 2010, and how to insert on your uh, work after you're done uh, the work cited. Uh, for more tutorials uh, about Zotero, it just uh, uh, consult my list of uh, videos on uh, my list of videos on YouTube see you next time